All right, second graders. So we are going to continue our word work, looking at big words and how we can break them apart to either read them or spell them easily. And we've already talked about how if we see two consonants in the middle of a word, that's a signal that that's a good spot to break up that word into chunks so that we can read it more easily. We learned that the exception to that is digraphs like ch, sh, th, those always have to stick together. But otherwise, if we see two consonants together, that's a good spot to break them up right between those two consonants. Now what I want to teach you today is that when we see a word with those two consonants and we break it up, the vowel in that word will usually make a short vowel sound. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take a look at this word. If I look at this word, I see two consonants right here. That means I could break this word up right in between them to try to read it easily. Now, because they have those two consonants, this vowel, the I, is going to make a short I sound. What does short I say? Short I says I. So if I were to try to read this word in parts, I would read din -ner. dinner. Okay, I know the word dinner. Like I'm hungry, I'm about to have dinner. I see those two consonants, so this vowel is a short sound. Now I wanna look at this word that looks pretty similar, but it's not exactly the same. I notice it's very similar, except there's only one N. So if I know that when there are two consonants together, the vowel makes a short sound, I'm wondering if there's only one consonant, does the vowel make a long sound? Well, let's try it. This would be a long I. I know long I says I, so diner. Diner. Oh, I know a diner. That's kind of like a restaurant. Usually you go for breakfast to a diner. So we're just learning that when there are two consonants together, the vowel makes a short sound, dinner. If there's one consonant, the vowel makes a long sound, diner. Let's try it with a couple other words to take a look at this. Let's look at this word. Is this word going to go with dinner, with that short vowel sound, or with diner, with the long vowel sound? Well, let's look at it. I see two consonants. There's a P, a P, right next to each other. So if I wanted, I could break this word down the middle to read it. And I know that there are two consonants, so that means this O is going to be a short O. It's not going to say O, it's going to say ah, hop-ing, hopping. So this is the word hopping, like when you jump on one foot. So that's going to go with dinner. Dinner has two consonants, short vowel sound. Hopping has two consonants, short vowel sound. Now what about this word? It looks very similar to hopping, but it's not exactly the same because there's only one consonant. There's only one P. So the O here, the vowel, is going to make a long vowel sound. I'm gonna read this word as hoping, hoping. Like when you really want something, you're hoping for something. So two consonants, short vowel sound. One consonant, long vowel sound. We have dinner and diner. We have hopping and hoping. So looking for those consonants in the middle of a word, one can tell you where to break it up to try to read it, but it can also tell you if that vowel is going to make a short sound or a long sound. So if you see two consonants in the middle, I'm going to add this to our chart. When those two consonants are together, we can try the short vowel sound because that is usually what it's going to make. 